Yeah, bro, that's that's one thing I've seen over the years. Like this team has just gotten so much better. Like of keeping their composure because like it's been times that a lot of people could have done it. Yeah. A lot oh yeah. Of people. Like, I I think I got called a bitch ass white boy <laughs> at least six times during that game. <laughs> Like, I remember one day D-Lyman walked by me and said, I ain't never been scared of no man, especially not a bitch-ass white boy. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy because I just kicked your ass. <laughs> you 15 yards down the field. Talk I'm just like, he, one of the D-Lyman get up off the ground made a tackle. He's like, I told you not to run the wall at me. I was like, look where you are. We was 10 yards downfield. <laughs> like, the chains is moving, big fella. Like, I was like, talk to you get up out of here. How right, you guys are going? I don't care what nobody says. I love Bryce Harper. I literally said two play, two pitches before they threw him that ball. I was like, if you throw anything low and inside, he's gonna take it and put it wherever he wants to. Two pitches later, yeah. I love Bryce Harper. I don't care what anybody says. I love Bryce Harper. Silver player. Can't Good. stand him. Why? Because he's he destroys the Braves. It's bad. It's so bad. So, like, you like him when he's not playing the Braves? No. You just hate him because he plays for the – No. For the, yeah. You're, well, you're right. Yeah. And the Philly Fanatic is probably my favorite mascot. Bloopers him not. Him and Bloopers are my two favorite mascots of say, all sports. Dude, Bloopers got to be top of, top of the list. It's Blooper than the Philly Fanatic. That's fair. Yeah, I, I just can't do Bryce Harper. He did something when he was with the Nationals back several years ago when he was playing against the Braves, and he, like – dragged his cleat across the A on the field. Like, imagine if he did that. Like, if somebody disrespected the G, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just, so That's like okay. Baker Mayfield planting the flag in the middle of, where was that? Was that Ohio State? Ohio State. Yeah. Yeah, Ohio State. So, we can't, we don't really go out anymore before before games, but like, say you're out there, you're just taking, you're just taking sets and you just see a team like wrapped around the G. What are you going to do? I mean, like, you got to say something. Right. So, But it's like – Like, it has – like, right there it's got to be addressed. Right. And it's like – because you've seen it with Colorado and – Colorado State. They were playing. Everybody's like, why did he do that? Like, no, nah, you got to protect that emblem. Like, that's that's what that's what we live and die by. Like, it's like, who was it that ran to the star after uh, he – T.O. Owens. Yeah, T.O. after he ran to the star. But that was – I think that was just because he had got traded from – Yeah. He had just got – he had got traded from Dallas. And he was like, this is still mine. So, yeah, but it got addressed. Yeah. Right there. Fast. But that was the second time he did it. He did it one time. Yeah, they nobody did it. And the second time he did it, they went and said something to him. I was like, I ain't nothing to him. That's, he took his ass off of it. But speaking of Philly, we got a Philly guy in the room today, Mr. <laughs> Tyke Smith, 2-3 himself. He's trying to get like you. <laughs> Is that what? I'm just trying to get like y'all. <laughs> He's trying to ball like 2-3, man. So you've been having a hell of a season oh, so yeah. far. You've been balling. So tell us who you are and where, where you from. Uh, like he said, my name is Taki Smith. Uh, I'm from Philadelphia. Uh, mom got five kids. Uh, raised a single, a single mom. So, yeah, I got an uh, older sister, two older brothers, and then I got a little brother. Okay. What was your recruitment process like, your journey to get to college? So, yeah, I started getting offers in, like, 10th grade after my 10th grade year. So, I ain't playing high school football until my sophomore year. So, after that season, I received, uh, like, five offers. And then my junior year kind of blew up and went from five to, like, 20-plus something. Oh, yeah, that's how that went. Did you ever see yourself come to college down south, like before you you entered the transfer portal? Like coming out of high school, did you ever like look at a school down south and want to move down there? So it was crazy. Like coming out, uh, I ain't had that many down south offers. I don't think like I had like uh, Texas and stuff like that. I had offers from like Texas and them, well like Baylor and them. So that's in Texas. But I ain't had like no Georgia, Florida. I ain't had like no stuff down south. Like um, I was real big on Penn State coming out of high school. I was real big on Penn State. I was big on North Carolina, too. But other than that, no, nah, I was trying to stay as close as I could to the crib. We got a couple of people on our team that were pretty fond of Penn State because I know Trust was. Yeah. Trust? Is Trust committed? Hey, he's, he's committed to uh, Penn State. Yeah, Trust was committed there. No, uh, Nolan loved Nolan? Penn State. Yeah. Louis C. Uh, loved Penn State. Yeah. I know yeah. Dev loved Penn State. Yeah. Like, that's where, like, he, he was – that was, like, his dream school until he yeah, decided was, yeah. to come down here. Didn't you like ride a bus yeah, to get he, out here? For a camp, yeah. yeah it, I think it was twice. Rode a ground bus all the way down, all the way back for a camp. Who is this? Uh, Devin. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was I was real big on Penn State. So um, so I, then I got another chance to go through like the whole the little recruitment process once I entered the, entered the portal. 
Yeah. From West Virginia. So, uh, of course, Penn State was on me heavy. So, that's what I was, like, considering. So, if I would have entered the debt, if I would have entered the transfer portal that January, because I only had, like, a week or two to, like, commit to, mm -hmm. I told my family, so I'm like, I'm just go to Penn State. I'm two and a half hours from the crib. Yeah. So, like that. But uh, the whole situation was Virginia taking too long to put me in the portal, that 48 hour stuff. So, I had to miss that whole semester. So, I just went back through the semester. Then, midway through the spring, I entered the portal and was able to go through the, um, like, get more, like, get myself more time to get more offers and kind of go through the process and not rush nothing. So from being up north, how is football, you know, being down in the south, you've been there for a couple of years, like yeah. what's the difference in like the love of football up north than, than it is from the south? So I think, uh, don't get me wrong, like, I think we got, um, a, we got, we got, we got good players up north up there, but I think some people don't get the opportunity that some people do get down south. Yeah. Um, Y'all real big on football down south. Like some high school games look like crazy, you feel me? Mm. I think just the exposure, like bands though, Y'all know him for football down here, you feel me? Like, up there we know him for more like a basketball in Philly. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got, we've been having some football players come out of there. So, um, excited for them guys that, that get the opportunity. And hopefully they keep paving the way for like the people who have the. So. Yeah, because I feel like football down here is just like, everybody's like main attention when it's football season. Mm -hmm. so, would you say, is it like that up there? Or, <laughs> or like uh, no. It's, it's like I said, it's mainly basketball, but it's, it's starting to get like that. Like, Yeah, these, these fans down here are something else. <laughs> I mean. Now, don't like, get me wrong, me coming down here definitely changed my whole, like, perspective and stuff like that. Because remember, before I got down here, I've never been down south. So I've been up north my whole life. And then when me going to college, I went to West Virginia. That was four hours from Philly. So y'all know me, I was able to go home back mm -hmm. and forth whenever, I, whenever I wanted to. Yeah. Well, so would you say, like, the biggest difference is? The heat, for sure. Oh, yeah. The and then just more, well, West Virginia was country. But I'm from, y'all know I'm from a city. Yeah. So again, down here, just being around, um, more country down south. I know you're big on pork down here. So yeah, it's mainly the heat, like me adjusting to the heat, cause like half of these days, like it'd be, I don't, it, don't, it, don't, it, don't, it don't get that hot. I've, been, I've been in the, this kind of heat my whole life. That first scrimmage we had, I don't care how long you've yeah. been in this heat or what you do, you were not surviving. No, that. that first, yeah, that first scrimmage is definitely one of the hottest days I ever, or like the hottest day. I, that first scrimmage and then that Friday practice. Mm -hmm. That Friday practice we had. That, 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 that treat you like a Monday? Bro. That we treat you like a Monday? Bro, I'm talking like, yeah. I'm looking at I'm just, I'm looking at my arms like we we just got in the, I still have tan lines from that day we we just got in the stretch lines and I'm like bro I'm not supposed to be sweating like this and then they talk about three uh we go to do our push ups fill out that day I was like oh, we geez, we go to do our push ups after and then the flex when I like get up to do my push ups just like like a like a it was like a water faucet of sweat just out of my helmet I was like this gonna be a long day yeah long. and then y'all understand so like. Remember, we, we treat we treat that Friday like a Monday practice. So you know, on Mondays we do all special teams. Mm -hmm. At the oh, time, yeah. I'm starting on I'm starting on what three out of four, and then, then I'm a two on punt. So I'm getting we'll free. <laughs> 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 then then we got scout periods and all that, and yeah. then so right now I probably go cover a full cover punt, full kickoff rep. Then I got to get back on kick return, punt return. Yeah, and then got to go go right up with the defense and scout like. That like I just remember that first scrimmage. It, it was like after like the first four plays, our offense and defense line were just like leaning on each other. <laughs> there was no leg drive. There was hey, no. It was just a. It would made it worse that they felt so long out there that that facts, first scrimmage. Facts. Like you know how some scrimmage like it go, it go by fast. Like by the time I'd be looking at, we'd be doing like little red area stuff, like uh, a little third down, get the ball back. Yeah. That day felt long, super long. Dumb long. Like super long. So, you went to West Virginia first. Now you're mm -hmm. here. What is the what? What would you say the two biggest differences from West Virginia, like their fan base, or just like the the culture of football is from here? So I've been here. So I only got the experience West Virginia, like fan base that one year. That was yeah. the uh, that 2019 year. Remember COVID? That oh, 2020. Yeah. So we kind of really, I didn't get the experience at that <laughs> second year. So like some of the stadiums in the Big 12, I didn't get the experience. Bands though, like that COVID year. Remember, it had limited fans. So um, but my freshman year, there, the fans definitely came out, showed out. So uh. -oh. Was real excited for that. And then my first career start was against Texas, so they came out. The game was sold out. Was that at? That was at West Virginia, yeah. So it was sold out. And then um, coming down here, the biggest difference was we at West Virginia they probably hold like sixty five thousand. I came down here, our first game, I experienced the UAB game, and then experienced the South Carolina game where they look, like lit the stadium up red. Mm -hmm. Then it was ninety three thousand. I'm like, whoa, this was football like down south. And then just the practices, like how Coach Smart running practices. Totally different to what I was used to at West Virginia. Like, don't get me when I first got here, my first camp for down in Georgia, first the first first couple of days in pads, like my shoulders and stuff was hurting. Because <laughs> <laughs> we was hitting so much. Like I'm like, yo, yo, we was hitting so much. 
So the first couple of days I was sore as ever. I'm like, dang. Yeah. All right, West Virginia and Pitt. That's a big rivalry, isn't it? Yeah, but I didn't get the experience that rivalry game. But they had played it uh, last year and this year. I got to watch them boys play that uh, this year. So last year they lost to them on a pick six, and this year I got to see them beat Pitt. So I actually had plans on watching their game tonight. They playing against uh, so West Virginia played Houston tonight. So it's a crazy story that like, the Houston coaches that are there, mm-hmm. Dana Hogerson and them. I committed to Dana Hogerson when he was at West Virginia. Really? So once I signed my letter of intent and stuff like that, he had took the job at Houston. So I got uh, I got stuck with the coaching status at West Virginia now, which is Neil Brown. Uh, so they get to face off against each other tonight. So I was uh, looking forward to that game. So what that, what's on that game story? No, it, uh, it's already on. Oh, okay. It's already on. I know I know your pain saying your shoulder was hurting that first first day, first couple of days of camp. I'm telling you, two times we do it each year, counter install. <laughs> Spring and fall count. And those are the my least favorite times of the year. You just look over there. Oh, there's Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and then it's my first go. So you know how I can't rain. Like you got, we going from different period to period and you got to go fast. Like, remember he had say like, if you don't know where you're going, run in place. Yeah, run in place. So, you know, I'm this is my first go day. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. None of that. I'm getting screamed at. Go smart to my taki out of shape. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. I remember one play. I got screened at, like, we're going to, like, bubble drill. So, I don't know where I'm going at. Because, you know, like, some DBs might start in bubble drill. Some might have to go with something else. And then, y'all, like, we wrote, I don't know where I'm going at the time. So, he just screaming at me. I'm like, dang. <laughs> Speaking of that, bro, t- bro, Taki in the summer, oh, my God, he one of the funniest people to be to be around during a team run. If you're tired and Taki tired, just listen to him. He's going to start making you laugh. <laughs> it's it's going it's gonna to be it's gonna be funny. It like, no matter who it is, if it's a coach, intern, player, he going he gonna to say something that might make you mad, but it's going to make you laugh. And then, yeah, like, last summer was really a struggle for me. This summer, I got oh, no, I got, no, I got, no, I got pain last summer. Oh, yeah, I got no, the, I got, I got got through all the summer around this summer, last summer. Oh, I was right there with you. Yeah, because we, we was coming off injuries. <laughs> I was right there with you. I was would, dying. Would you, would you rather do stadiums or would you rather do stations? Stations. Oh, stations by far. Stations. But I'm Sta- doing I'm doing stadiums over them twenty one tens we ran. I'm doing stations. I'm doing steps over those. I'm oh. doing stadiums. Them twenty. No, I'm, I'm doing them twenty one tens. No. So what we did them in the morning? Yeah, yeah. we ran like t- hey we hey I was dying that day. Explain twenty one tens to me. Go from one back of the end zone to the other. So <laughs> we started at the back of the end zone. We started at the back of the end zone. We got to finish through the goal line. In front of the goal line. Yeah. We had to make y'all had to make sixteen. Sixteen. We had to make eight. 19, 18, what? 18 probably. It's usually like 16 seconds. Yeah. yeah. For skill. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, the, like, and I think we just, first, we just the squatted. First, the first. Yeah, we had, yeah, we, we just had just squatted. squatted. Yeah, yeah, we power clean maxed. We squatted and power clean maxed. Yeah. We were supposed to run to the stadium and do the, yeah, the yeah. stadium steps. And the first couple, I'm like, all right, this, this is cool. <laughs> Once you get in the double ditches. <laughs> it was so bad. Out there, we was only running like eight of them. Next thing I don't know, we looked up, we was at 16. Then we still had four more to go. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> what happens if you don't? Get it under the time. We had to we had to make up some at the end. <laughs> oh, they they like we had to run like, like interns like stand there, and if you, they, you don't make the time, they don't tell you. Yeah, they, they just tell. write your name down, and yeah. if you miss another one, it's so like a mark mark, and they go up to Coach St. Clair at the end, like so and so missed this many, so and so this many, missed this many. <laughs> so you got to stay out there and run those. What day was it that? Because we were hurt, yeah, and we were outside, and it was the day they introduced shuttles. Which shuttle? You talking about that's when we got the fifty yard shuttle? The the, the fifty yeah twenty yard. I just, the that, Ravens do that for their conditioning test. I remember like, I've heard about the. I'm just like, but remember we did that this winter. We uh it was crazy because remember we squatted, it was had an stations indoor. It was an indoor. I think we had sixteen gassers and we had the yeah we had we, we had, had four of each. We had four of the uh is it two fifty or is it three hundred? I think uh, three hundred yard shuttles, which is fifty. Wait, two hundred yard shuttles. Yeah, two hundred yard shuttles. Yeah, and then one hundred fifty yard shuttles. Yeah. We had four and then three. And after we after we did run, ran sixteen tempo, I'm like, bro, I'm and this fighting for my and life. Stations. So now for you to come here, definitely got to be. Imagine doing that the summer we was we just came off that injury. Oh no, I would have probably passed out. Like then I would remember at the time I'm in a big knee brace. Yeah, my mother, I should have been out there running with the. With the big, <laughs> like with that knee brace I was in. See, was them, them, them knee braces ain't no joke, are they? No. Imagine the skill. Like, fall camp was definitely hard going through fall camp with that knee brace on, trying to run with mm-hmm. lead. Area. Air, yo. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't, don't even think many people are running, running with him without a knee brace on. <laughs> but did you wear knee braces in high school? No. Because I wore them in high school. And I remember my first time put wearing them. It was, like, so hard for me to get used to running. 
I'm talking, I'm running, they're clicking every other step, like catching, I'm falling on my face. Like, so my freshman year, we didn't have those because D-line, we were just wearing a little neoprene. Mm-hmm. 2020 happened, we got the big boys. I'm like, yeah, I'm not messing with this. Third day <laughs> of practice, I'm running, clip. Both both the hinges just click together. You just you just you fall. Can't, like you, you can't just catch fall. yourself. You got to catch yourself either your hands or you better be a damn athlete and put a roll or something. <laughs> yeah, I will. Hey, my brace. We going through camp. I'm gonna stop middle of the play. My brace falling from my knee to my ankle. I'm stopping middle of the play. So that camp, I, they were saying I had a lot of lows, but I'm like, yo, know, my brace is falling. Tyke, <laughs> Tyke. What now what's doing? crazy to me is how he'll say something and he on the other side of the field not even looking at you. He's just off the top of his head. Yes. Like, that's why I'd be like, where you at? Like, how do you even, like, where you at? Especially when we, when we do, like, the mid-meetings, and, like, he'll be on the other side. Like, he'll back me turn. He'll be talking to, like, Kamari or something. And Kamari be playing perfect technique. And Kamari be like, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? No, no don't, don't get me wrong. Like, Coach Smart, I think by far, like, he get practice going. Facts. Don't get me wrong. Like, Facts. Some of the stuff he be saying, I'd be going back and be, like, just laughing. Like, I'd be like, yo, this is, he wanted to fuck I don't me. even hear it half the time because people are like, you hear what Coach Smart said, do you? I'm like, no. <laughs> but like my freshman year, oh, I heard every oh, bit of every it. Every word. Every word. You, you got to get to that point. Out. You kind of like tune them out, but you hear the stuff that you need to hear. hear. The message, not yeah. the tone, because yeah. that, that tone will get you. Yeah. So you bear what? Since 2021. 2021. So I got here that summer. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's been the, the hardest moment since you bear here? Um, the injury part, like that twenty twenty, uh, that twenty twenty one year, just uh, me transferring in, trying my best to earn a team respect. Being I just met y'all boys, and then go through the first scrimmage, that second scrimmage before the week, the week of the second scrimmage. Now we had probably like that Tuesday. The freshman got skits. Mm-hmm. That night we start class. The next day, yeah, I broke my foot that day. So the first day of class, I got surgery. So the first day of that first day of class started, I got surgery. So I ain't go to class or nothing. So then trying to work my way back from that. It took a little while back to get used to like having like a screw and stuff on my foot. That took a little while. Mm-hmm. And then um played a little bit against Auburn. Then we was getting ready for Kentucky. So I'm full go, um, getting back in it. And then tear my ACL that we getting ready for Kentucky that turned up on year. So I think that was the hardest thing, just um just overcoming adversity. Uh Ben, so that was my first time like missing the season being hurt. So yeah, I think that but that through that process I think it definitely taught me like Patience, you feel me? Yeah. What kept you going through that? Was it family? Was it teammates? Uh, so remember at the time I was going through a lot when I got there. I remember I had just lost my nephew. Mm-hmm. So I left my family at a rough time and then found out I was having a baby. So that kind of what got me through. Yeah. yeah. I, I know you, as a defensive guy, you talk about that all the time. Just being wanting to wanting to make sure you're doing everything for your daughter, for your family. Put them in a different uh, different situation, which which I, I respect wholeheartedly. I look at you different for that. And like, I know, I know what he's trying to work for. I know what he's trying to get to. So when I see you out on the field making plays, I, I say, so he definitely do it for his Yeah, family. so I, I remember uh, halfway through all the games, he always come to me and say, uh, you know, you're doing it for a duel for Zyla, and say my daughter's name and stuff like that. So that kind of also began me going when uh, Zelo come to me and say that. Because right. when you got hurt, I was also hurt. I, I didn't really know you at the time because you had just gotten here or whatever, and you was always on the other side of the ball. So, like, yeah. we never really crossed paths that much. But I actually got to know you then. I remember you telling me, and I was like, damn, like, like yeah. now I know, like, what are you doing it for? But so, yeah, I think uh, no, during that process, I think I definitely met more guys on the team, like uh, kind of bonded with all them guys that was in your bands that we had to literally spend every day together, like every day, like. Treatment. And then, uh, yeah, treatment. Yeah, right. Damn, right. Uh, over in y'all, y'all in Miami practicing the heat, we inside yeah. hooping. Yeah, like so we, had to, <laughs> we had to literally spend, we were from, not for me not seeing them, to we had to spend every day together for the next, from that October all the way to January, we spent every day together, like every day. So that, I think uh, during that time, definitely, Got to create that um, that bond with them. It was crazy because when you were sharing during fall camp, when you got up there, I was actually about to jump in. Like, um, yeah, I got the time to kind of notate and learn, Tate, and uh, build that relationship with them through that injury process when you someone like going through his injury and all that. Yeah. Tell you, who would you say is the funniest person on the team? Uh, got a couple. Yeah, we, I think we got people funny in their own. I got to put Jordan Hall up there. Okay. He's just a huge personality. It's, Tyre- so, it's something about you, <laughs> Tyre- you get under nah. anybody's skin, and it's just yeah. funny. And it's like, like the timing of when you do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it'll be like, it'll be the time that somebody d- do not want to be messed with. It's like he just know how to press everybody's buttons. That's, that's one thing I love about him, because he's like, he's going to be the same to anybody, and any and everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, But 
But like when he when he mess with you, like you know it, he rock with you. Like, but no, yeah, and that's sure. the thing I tell a lot of people. Like, if people ain't if people ain't like poking at you, if it's an older player to a younger guy, if he ain't oh, poking 100%. at you trying to get up, like he don't mess with you. Like I, I can't remember who what what freshman it was, but somebody had to go up to him like you got to take everything Tate saying with like a grain of salt. Like yeah. he just messing with you, because I'd be saying like some like yeah, some yeah. messed up shit to people. Yeah, you know, also they they coming from high school, so they are like. Damn, he probably don't like me. He like, they used to be like the most liked person at their high school pride. Because I remember, and I don't even understand. We just playing with him. Right. Jordan always like, I'm out here 17 years old going against a 22 year old who's <laughs> been here for four years. <laughs> I was like, damn, you make me feel old saying that. No, uh, yeah, it's that. What were some of the best stories you guys have? Like funny stories from rehabbing together. Like what goes on? Uh, that my, that Miami. I mean, we just was playing, playing what? We was playing horse. Yeah, you know? we was playing something, and uh, and Miami when it was uh, so after that happened. We went back in. We was done lifting. I don't know if he wanted to keep lifting for the whole two and a half hours, but we already did the list. That um, to the time we was hurt, we didn't have to work out with the team band, so they had to do like different stuff. So during practice, we would just lift. So um, we went back in and played basketball. So I think that was one of the and got to see. We was in there with what, Coach Sinclair. Yeah, uh, been there to see Coach Sinclair try play basketball was one of the. Fun. It was just like. Did you have a shot on him? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like every because we were up there with George. Yeah. Oh, George oh, is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell me no, no more. Dude. I gave him <laughs> clown. We, we like, it was just like the most random things would happen. Like, we'd be in the facility, like, y'all out there practicing. We're like, all right, we're done working out. We're finna go to the back of the training room, take a nap. We go back there, go to sleep. Yeah. Or go back to the, the locker room. Like, yeah. Yeah. that Miami trip, bro, that was like the first two days of practice, yeah, getting, re- getting used to that heat. Yeah. It was, in the like in the field, was was a lot like the grass was high, yeah. like both fields. So it was like you're like really digging to like try to like cut and do, I'm like, this ain't it. Take me back. My, Miami is a lot more fun when you don't got to worry about playing football. <laughs> <laughs> we, but uh, don't give. We still had to be like. Remember, I remember we still had to go to all of Mia's and. Uh, I didn't remember that that Thursday. Some people that that, that wasn't like um, that just traveled. Remember they had off. They had to go to that Thursday practice. But that was, well, we played that Friday, but that Thursday was like a Friday practice. Man, we just had like a little jog through. Yeah. They ain't had to come today. So remember, they had that morning off and ain't had to be there, ain't had to be checked back in. Oh, Friday. All them, all of them that wasn't that that practice was on South Beach all day living yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember I thought I was gonna be one of them guys that get the ain't had to be back. We're like, and then because I, I remember me and you was like we were talking to each other like, what you finna do tomorrow? I was like. Oh, like I might go to South Beach or so and so. Like I was trying to leave my mom because my mom and them so was coming to the game. Yeah. But then Austin them texting like, yeah, yeah, yeah like, we got the text at the same time. <laughs> me and you, I think, looked at each other we're like, yeah. ain't no way. Yeah, man. So if you take, so if me and Tate wanted to go to Philly. Where, where are you taking us? Like, where are you, where are you gonna show us around to? Uh, I could definitely show you uh, Center City. Uh, that, that'd be like downtown. Uh, I will take y'all to get some cheese steaks, man. Though y'all eat like bad cheese steaks out here. Oh, uh, yeah, probably go to American <laughs> Deli, get bad cheesesteaks. So they ain't. You know what's See, funny? I just heard an ad today for Zaxby's, and they, they said they just came out with a chicken, a fried chicken Philly, and then they said that they just made the Philly cheesesteak even better. Do you take that crazy. personally? So, um, yeah, I'm definitely taking it. I don't, I'm not eating no cheesesteak from Zaxby's. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you. Uh, so <laughs> then when I was back home in May, remember Nolan and them had just got dreaded. Yeah. So I took Nolan and them out to get cheesesteaks. We went to Ishkabibu. It's, it's a spot down South Street that sells cheesesteaks. So we ordering cheese eggs. So you already know we in Philly. So Nolan get up to the joint, like get up to the counter tomorrow. Let me get a let me get <laughs> let me get a Philly cheese steak. I'm like, Nolan, you already in Philly. You just got some cheese steak. Let me let me get a cheese steak, then tell him what you want on it. But he keep going, let me get a Philly cheese steak. Like, I know I know the workers was looking at him like he was crazy. <laughs> so what you get on what you get on yours? Uh so me, I, I get a I get a cheese steak, salt pepper ketchup, mayonnaise. Uh some people might do salt pepper ketchup, mayonnaise, fried onions. You can really put what you want on them, but I'm not. I'm just more of a salt, pepper, ketchup, mayonnaise. I ain't never had a, I ain't never had a, like a true Philly or even really been. like a, a Philly from down here. Like, so the only thing ask, up you north, that, some of the guys that's down there that that, that experience. Cause I, the only thing from like up north food wise that I've experienced was a bagel. Whew. That ba- like We're traditional New York bagel, New Jersey. Oh, I'm talking like that. I'm just talking like up north in general. Changed my whole opinion. Cause down here, like you get a bagel, and you're like, oh, that's not that good. Yeah. yeah. That bagel up there, that thing was, it was crazy weird. Yeah, like me, like some of the food that I eat up north, I don't eat down here. Like, yeah, I won't eat pizza down here because I just don't, I just don't like how the pizza made down here. Uh, and I would eat up at home. I'm trying to say, I won't eat no, like, no, you get like Subway. We call those like hoagies and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I won't eat Subway. I won't eat no sandwich or nothing down here. 
I'm trying to think if there's anything like up north of like that I think of down the south that I just like wouldn't try up there. Probably barbecue. It's crazy. Yeah. I remember so so uh, when I was at West Virginia, one of my roommates was from Georgia. He was from Savannah. He kept talking about like he kept talking about cookout, American deli and stuff like that. So my first time I had American deli was like this past summer or something, and I've been there for the last since 2021. My first time I had American Deli was this past summer. There. I'll be going to get them wings. <laughs> Bro, they wings fell off. After COVID. Yeah. Before COVID, I swear Deli might have had the best wings in Athens. After COVID, like, they just got, I'm like. I'm trying to think. There are like, There are not many eat those wings. great wing spots in Athens. Like, I'm talking Beef like. Beef Brady's. Really? Beef on Brady's. I, I, I can't remember. You heard that or Bro, that. I got to pull have my the best dry lemon pepper wings in Athens. I stamp it. I got it. I grew up going to Beef on Brady's because there was one in my hometown. And. When I came like to Athens and yeah. I saw it for the first like for the first time because it went out of business at home, I was like, "Dude, no way!" It used to be my favorite spot to go growing up. I'm trying to think where was that place I got wings from? Wings Old. Wings so, uh, Groundhouse Evermont. So that um, so I never yeah, I know, know Groundhouse was a thing, um, but um, me and Zeus wound up going there at 2021 year. We went to the mall. They wound up going there, so that was my first time having it. But we in Atlanta. So I'm like, "Did we got one of these at Athens?" He like, yeah, right down the street from the facility. Facility. Yeah. I didn't know that. Like at the time, I'm like, well, all right. So I started eating that. That reminded me of Shake Shack back at home. Yeah, yeah okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it was Jay Buffalo Wings. I'm talking when you opened that. When I opened that box, I about started drooling. Them wings was big, tasted like nothing. I was hot. Uh, I was so mad because like they the eye test like passed 100. percent And then I bit into one. I was like. I can't do this. I was like, it kind of pissed me off. But like, what's your go-to wing st- uh, t- uh, wing, wing flavor? I'm more of a mild. I'm more of a mild buffalo. Medium, Medium buffalo. buffalo. Try lemon pepper for me, man. And just get straight to the point. You give me some little ranch. See, I'm hit. Lemon I'm, pepper I'm, is extremely hit or miss for me, and I don't know why. Because some people would like, like wet wet pepper much. or the dry dry. So I'm, you, see, you see how y'all big on I'm big on blue cheese with wings that's like that huge I'm, blue cheese well I love you too. see here it is yeah. you're <laughs> you my guy everybody clowns on me for yeah, they, they clown on me too at here it is I'm like where it. the blue cheese at like buffalo wings will not touch blue cheese with them give me buffalo shrimp I will only put it in blue cheese mm. have you had Marcus Evans buffalo shrimp mm. you know, I, that, I, had shrimp bad, I had a bad I had a bad experience with shrimp so yeah I, 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 I had that me and men's went there and had a buffalo shrimp but I'm definitely like with wings. I put I put ranch on my salads, but any wings and stuff like that. Oh, I gotta get blue cheese, like no doubt. So I know you're not big on baseball, but Bobby Tate, what do y'all think about the series so far? I can't speak. Yeah, I, I was about to say I can't speak on that because I don't. It's bad. It's bad. Tonight, I mean, it's a must win tonight. It's it's zero zero right now. I'm a Philly guy, so I'm going I'm going I'm going for the Philly. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> you guys are up 2-1 in the series right now. It's... Bobby, Bobby has some strong opinions about Philly. <laughs> and right now I feel like they're stronger than ever. Yeah. I don't like Philly. I don't like – I don't like <laughs> – listen. Straight to it. <laughs> listen, I don't like Philly sports. I like the Eagles. I like the Eagles, okay? Nothing wrong with the Eagles. Is that because Georgia players play for the Eagles or – No, no, no. I, I like the Eagles before – I was a Jalen Hurts guy. Like, right. when he when he transferred away from Alabama, I was like, thank God, because I, I like Jalen Hurts. But I couldn't tell people I like Jalen Hurts because he played for Alabama and Georgia. It doesn't, it doesn't work. So, it's crazy. I got to play against Jalen Hurts uh, my first year of the year. He transferred to Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, I'm like, yo, he get out there. Like, y'all ever saw him in person? Oh, Yo, he look like a running back. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo. Everybody clowning the, the QB sneak they be doing. And they're like, why can't we look squat like that? Because you don't have a quarterback that squats 600 pounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he going to fall forward. They've come up with new names for that, too. It's the the brotherly shove. <laughs> uh, it used to be called the tush push, and now it's yeah. called the second city shove. They they got a couple different names. Because right I, I, we do it. And what's his percentage on it? It's like 100%. They missed it once last year. They didn't get it like, once last year. Like, like 98 or something. Like, like they get it every time, which right now I'm pretty sure we're 100 percent on it. Yeah. But we literally, like Coach Charles, literally put their film up, and like that's what we watch. And like, it's so impressive how they do it. And they like, know it's coming. Like they know it. You can't do nothing about it. Especially when you got a quarterback that squats 600 pounds. Like Jason Kelsey. Like there's been clips from the side where his helmet, and he's just like balanced on his head, running his feet with his helmet like against the ground. And it's the most impressive thing ever. That's. Playing online and playing in the trenches is, is different. Because when you under them piles, bro. I I didn't know I was claustrophobic. 
until the UAP. We talked about this last episode, but being bro, under the piles, bro. T- did we talk about this last episode? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I got caught under a pile and I got hit, landed on from the top, yeah. of, and I felt my helmet like shift, like way it shouldn't have, like it moved, like the plastic. <laughs> I like started freaking out under the pile. I was like, "Get me out of here!" <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm glad I don't got to be in them. See. That. Stay away from them piles too, because I like cleaning people off of them. Yeah, well, I, I already know. Like I remember, I remember last year during a scrimmage, trust me doing that, yo. He did that in a scrimmage. I'm like, yo, what's like, yo? Don't, don't, be, don't be standing around the pile. Trust go hit you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I got I was mad about that. I'm like, yo, I can't even say that. I want to say it. I'm like, yo, <laughs> trust. What are you doing, like? Oh, you, but, but you saw that video on the team. That's just trust. Yeah, 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 trust is so funny to play next to. He just be talking and doing whatever. It's hilarious. So for you, who was it more fun playing? Well, not say not more fun, but Warren McClendon, Mims, or Trust now? It, it's weird because they all play so differently. Like Mims, like I've said it before, Mims plays like a six eight human being with extremely long arms. Passing off Twist, like I know he's gonna be farther away from me because he he can be, mm-hmm. and with like Trust. Trust is always so much closer to me. So when Trust first got over there, I'm thinking like, oh, I got to get over there. And me and Trust are tripping all over each other because I'm not used to it. And then like Warren McClendon, he was just like always in the right spot. It seemed like just like did his job and did it well. And then Mims, like me and Mims double teams. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you in the three tech? You strike, you usually got he a bump. And you're in a 40 pound man just bumping you. Because when he's next to me, I'm thinking, left, if I got a three take left, right, I'm going to stand you up. And when I feel Mims make contact, that's when I start running my feet. And uh, I de- <laughs> I've been on the other side of them too many times. That's a lot of, a lot of mass coming at you. <laughs> uh, I didn't have to close on Tay a couple of times during practices. <laughs> And I'd be like, yo, I'm not trying to. I will say, Taiki is the one <laughs> secondary player we have that will stick his head yes. in there. I'm telling you. Block no. destruction? You would think he's a defensive tackle. <laughs> like, he going to put his hands on you and get like and get you off. Like, block destruction, he is, like, he's a, he's a, he's a defensive end. Because I remember, Same like, the first time I ever pulled on you, I pulled and I was like, oh, like, <laughs> DB, you know, whatever. I pull around. Stalemate. Yeah. I was like. All right, yeah. <laughs> I gotta come a little yeah. differently with Tyke over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It ain't no, that ain't a little object. You just go, you just gonna get up out of there. No, uh, <laughs> nah, you, but you know, it. that's how. You, hey, yeah, like at Georgia, they had, they had, they had, they had pitch you in a situation like they had, they had run another side, they had pitch you to another side tight end, and you already know it's too long, and they want you to go as close. They want to see if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you're gonna shy away from it. Yeah, yeah. or you gonna embrace Tyke it. You don't shy, shy away from <laughs> it. We got a couple that will. Tyke ain't one of them. <laughs> Shoot, talk about this Kentucky game though. Round of applause to Tate, PFF's highest graded uh, lineman. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate there you it. go. Uh, I played a little. I was a little pissed off that game after that Auburn I game. I was. Uh, I was real excited for the way uh, both sides of the ball came out. Uh, offense came out explosive. We were like, firing on. It was Bo- like I looked. Bobo up to walked up to that press box with two go yard duffels and emptied both of them out. Ooh, nice. go yard. I mean, Bobo was couldn't miss. So then, then I think the line did a good job. The whole protection. I think. They was working as a, as one. First, Carson won like eleven for eleven. I'm like, yo, Carson was fed back there. <laughs> like, he, as a sometimes he don't get the, the respect that he's. I and mean, and it's like his his first year. Like he's still like, but I knew he was like. I got so remember he was taking. They was like rotating in the spring. But like some of the stuff he was doing in the spring, I'm like, oh no, he elite. Like he a yeah. pro. Like he a, he's a he's a pro quarterback. Yeah, that like, game he all the right reads and pitch on the right. Oh yeah. It's like he's gonna pitch you on the right side. And he stays level headed too, yeah. which is great. Like he'll always be the same no matter if it's going bad or gone. But yeah. Going and so Coach Searles, every game our offensive line has a goal of fifty pins and knockdowns. So pins like you drop somebody on the ground and like put them on their neck. Knockdowns like get somebody on the ground. So we want fifty of those combined throughout all five. We had forty nine that game. All together is it all five. Yeah. Uh, that's the closest we've came. Mm. I'm talking like we go back and watch the film. We're like, like what was what was we on? Did y'all have one that was like on the fringe of like being one? No, because we were so close. We all went back and watched it again just to make sure, and there were none. Mm. He he got them all, but I think the way that their defense kind of acted during that game didn't help them out that much. Yeah, they they offense did the same. They were doing. I told him my own way after the game because he, he played there. He was just like, bro. 
He was like, bro, he said, y'all office lies so dirty. He was like, like, bro, y'all started it. Like, y'all spent people years and stuff. I'm like, bro, what's going on with y'all? Yeah. Like, you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Sucks. Like, none of us really going to turn that mode on until, like, we got to. Right. And we kind of, like, had to that game. Like, like trust, trust rate kills somebody. Oh. <laughs> like, I, after that, personally, guy, I remember I go up, it was like, trust. Between the, like, be smart. I was like, think. Like, had a hold of his helmet. Trust, like. My bad, bro. My bad. It was like I just had to. I just, I just had to. Yeah, he had to get it out. <laughs> you know? But like they had some penalties that cost them. Which like, and if you would have told me everything was going to happen like they defense did to us mm. that game, and you would have told me that we didn't have a single person to like retaliate, I'd be like, you lied. <sighs> like I think that was the biggest thing is keeping our composure. Yeah, bro, that's that's one thing I've seen over the years. Like this team has just gotten so much better. Like of keeping their composure because, like, it's been times that a lot of people could have done it. Yeah. A lot oh, yeah. Of people. Like, I I think I got called a bitch-ass white boy <laughs> at least six times during that game. <laughs> like, I remember one day D-Lyman walked by me and said, I ain't never been scared of no man, especially not a bitch-ass white boy. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy because I just kicked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you 15 yards down the field. Talk I'm just like, he, one of the D-Lyman get up off the ground and made a tackle. He's like, I told you not to run the wall at me. I was like, look where you are. We was 10 yards downfield. <laughs> like, the chains is moving, big fella. Like, what I was like, talking you get up out here. They ran that mouth. But, like, I, I, like if I said we didn't run our mouth, like, I'm lying. But, like, we do it to, like, where we're not going to get yeah. flagged for it. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't do – I mean, okay, trust every now and then. But. How about that rah-rah catch, though? Well, oh, from wow. from your from your perspectives, ever, I want to hear, like – So, I've been saying rah-rah, dude. I'm going tell you, he been – he been climbing the ladder since he got here. Like you well, said, you throw a contested ball. I'm taking rah rah. You can you could you could you could see him doing that on his tape at Mississippi State. Yeah. So seeing him go through like the spring, getting adjusted, and then go through fall camp, uh, he been doing that. So uh, biggest thing was just like I said, uh, I think it was what learning the playbook. Play? Yeah, just learning the playbook. Just and then once there. he got that, it was like I already knew letting him go out there and yeah. just play and not be thinking. But so, he does that. He does it in practice. He did, yeah. he did that. That's what I was about to say. He did it all spring, all fall camp. So he definitely capable of it. So just yeah. I mean, on Saturday for him to be able to. And go out there and do that. I was real excited for him. And then getting the one foot down was definitely, bro. Because I went up elite. when they were replaying. I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and dap you up right now before they call us a touchdown. I was like, I went up that much, so I'm gonna help walk away, <laughs> bro. Because like, because I want field goals, so I'm standing like I'm kind of like looking over people. I'm like, did he get his foot down? They brought it back up on the day. I was like, yeah. And he took that thing off him. I was like, that was great. Rara, he's a dirty receiver, especially with a jump ball. Oh yeah, I told, if I, there's a contested catch, I'm taking Ra Ra. Yeah. Like he he going up to get it. Oh yeah, he definitely yeah. I think our offense definitely needed that game though. Yeah, yeah. just we came out firing. What was the how many how many plays y'all took a score the first drive? Seven, six or seven. And yeah, yeah but, and then we had that 95 yard drive. Okay. That that was, drive was a. There was there was like seven penalties that drive. Are you talking about when we, were, we were going towards our to our locker room? We started going towards our locker room, and then the quarter change. Quarter change, so we started oh, going this way. That's when Trust got that personal. Uh, they crack back said. They crack back said. They jumped off sides. Somebody else on our team got a penalty. I don't remember who it was for something, but it was just like that was a long drive. <laughs> long drive would be killing me. Uh, I think uh, I think Marcus had a real good game mm -hmm. that game what? too. I think Marcus. One yard, one yard from a hundred. Oh yeah, we had, oh yeah, they not. Uh, so was Brock. Seven, seven. Brock had seven catches for. Brock did have a hundred. But yeah, Brock had like one thirty. Because I remember Brock came in at halftime. He's like, I'm been ninety eight. I need one more catch. <laughs> I was like, what, Brock? He said, I'm been ninety eight. I just want. I, he said, I want a hundred. He said, I was like, all right. <laughs> So just it'd be crazy, like just seeing him going out there and do what he do on Saturdays. Uh, well, we always see it in practice, but they don't see some of the stuff he do to us in practice. So I just, like, I'm so glad I gotta go against him on Saturday. So every time he'd do like one of them, like he'd do some something crazy, like Coach Coach Muschamp would look at like the DBs and and start like, like look at this guy. I'm glad we don't got to play because I say I 100 percent agree with you. That's how it was with <laughs> with JC in the offensive line room. It was just like, and the, the most impressive thing about him in a game. He's like a bouncing ball when people hit him. People just be like, bouncing he's, off. He's gonna he like he gonna take it and he's just gonna keep running. Like most of the time, like you see like a guy you get tumped over, but he just hitting shit and just keep moving. So I'm like, like you think like, oh, he's finna go down like as an offensive lineman because we're supposed to cover. So you kind of slow down. And they're like, oh shit, <laughs> he start running again because he's still up. But yeah, Rose went Rose went crazy that game too. 
trying to think. Y'all holding them to only 55 yards rushing was yes, insane. Think, uh, we try to pride ourselves on that. Uh, uh, that was crazy. Have a big uh, rushing yard game against Florida. I mean, they have uh, 310, something like that, against Florida Russia. Oh, my God. I know Ray had 280 himself. Yeah, he had a running back. Yeah, he had 280 himself. But so like, we just took it. We took it personal. Especially yeah, especially like, coming out of the game yeah. against our. So we 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 game. had that on a, on our shoulder too because nobody had rushed for over a hundred on them all year. There was a lot of chatter around this game, being like, "Is this you know?" Yeah, that that game like it basically determined part of the East or like a, yeah. a big number of the East. Yeah, I mean, I I saw you what you reposted on your story the the week six highlights or whatever, and it was when you were getting off the bus or whatever, all dressed up, and like they had music or they had. Quotes behind it, oh, yeah, people in the media, yeah. like saying, like you know, like we'll see George is man enough to or... stop the run game. Oh yeah, they did. That was another thing. Our offensive line, uh, said our offensive line was meh. So that one's been kind of taken personal too. Three hundred this week. I hope so. Three hundred. <laughs> That'd be nice. So you going to trench talk? All you. So t- so Taki, we got a section oh, called trench, trench talk. Something that's been brutal, been pretty hard in, in this week for you, just whatever. But this week? Yeah. Or this week, past couple of weeks, month or whatever. <laughs> something that's been pretty hard for you. I got mine. Uh, something that was hard for me was, um, so my daughter was at a game. My daughter, mom, and them, uh, family came down. So um, the hardest thing was like when they had to leave and go back to uh, Philly. So uh, just uh, I was also glad I got to spend that quality time with them. Yeah. And um, man, so I ain't been home since June, but they came down to they've been down to a couple games, so That's good. just trying to make the most of that time. And but the hardest the hardest time be when they when they gotta leave. Yeah, it's hard to see it, especially when you little baby you see her go. Yeah, yeah but yeah, George, uh, getting a quad contusion on Saturday, I I dumped one of their linebackers, and his knee was like this on the ground, and I landed on it, like on my IT band, in like quad area right here. I woke up Sunday morning and I could not like bend my leg. Yeah. Oh, it was hurting. I think we talked about IT bands last week. I can't do IT bands, man. Those things. It's that's tough. Yeah, we talked about it. I ended up getting a bruise on my because you remember me during that stretch and shroud on Sunday. Bad deal. He was like, bro, I need to be able to squat. I'm like, why? He's like, my damn quiet. I can barely Coach St. Clair put a time on it. I said, Coach St. Clair, go to the side. I'm not making this. Bad. <laughs> I see my church talk probably. I feel like I thought I broke my finger during the game. <laughs> were you coming up to me? You, said, saying, bro, you came bro. up to me after the game. You're like, my finger's supposed to look like that. <laughs> no, I'm talking about it's just sideways. So what was wrong with that? Pop back and play this though? I don't know. Like it's still it's still messed up now. Like it's just like you know playing sports is just like it's gonna be stuff you got to just deal with. And I think this yeah, is like been, one of those things. I've been dealing with them for the last. So uh, I messed my thumb up at West Virginia, uh, one of the last games of that 2020 year. Ain't no nothing was wrong with my thumb till I got the jury that June, that like, June of 2021. So remember I got surgery, so I got there on my thumb. Bang. Got like a and chip then, in it. Huh? Got like a chip in it or something? Uh, so I had tore like the outside of my ligament out there. That's like the what? The, I think that's my uh, RCL or something like that. One of, them, one of the ligaments or something like that on the outside of my thumb. So I had to get surgery on that. And then I've uh, been dealing with that since. So, uh, they wearing a thumb brace for the last two years. Yeah. And then had it. So this year I, I started out with no thumb brace and had to go back to it. I feel like fingers, like especially up front, is definitely something like you all, like getting a cotton jerseys, yeah. face mask, yeah. in between people. I think that's, yeah, my, then I be having to play. I got to remember, I got to play on the edge. I got to get up. So it'd be like, I might have to be in a box sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I've had to use my hands a lot. So you had to put me falling off my scooter up there. Come on, man. I just figured it'd be a good one to talk <laughs> about, man. Oh, uh, yeah, that was pretty. <laughs> it was a wet day today. <laughs> How bad was it, bro? So, all right, I was coming, I was coming down the little, the little ramp. Like it was kind of, it was wet. Where? Behind Adderhold. So it's like I'm trying to duck, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to like duck about. the little trees too, and like I'm going to turn, and like I guess like my wheel is like on the like the side like this. And all I feel is like I just couldn't catch myself, and I just hit my I hit my thigh first. My phone was in my pocket. My phone took most of the hit. Took most of the hit. My phone cracked. I was just like today, today, Go, going going to the sound language <laughs> class. Now that is the trench talk right there. <laughs> like, third one. I'm going to trying to make it the sign language. I remember them days, bro. Had to go to sign language. 
Then they'd be like, yo, you go from like being on your phone, like, you know, some class you could be on your phone, be on your yeah. stuff. And in sign language, ain't no talking for it. And, that, and that, that class, you have to use. You in there for you in there for an hour and what thirty hour fifteen? Yeah, hour fifteen. See, that's because Tuesdays and Thursday classes are long. Cause I had that on Tuesday and Thursday, so yo, it, it's completely like quiet. Like you be in there just like nah, no, nah, not even trying to. And the crazy thing is, asleep. like the teachers that match you up with a partner, but like say me and him sit next to each other, we won't be partners like signaling and stuff. You would be partners with somebody sitting all the way across the yeah, room. Yeah, so it's like you got like you literally have to like know what they're talking about and give it like back to them like yeah. so they, they might ask you a question you like no da, 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 like yeah. whatever wherever it might be oh man what's the hardest class you've taken since you've been there uh i took this i was i'm a sociology i, I graduated uh, with my uh sociology degree but i took like a sociology research methods class yo that was by far the hardest class i had to take don't get me wrong sign language sign language was pretty hard band though that was a new language me learning but um I took silent one online, silent was two, silent was three was in person. I really enjoyed those were professors and uh it's crazy. I still get it. I'd still be uh talking to my silent with three professor to this day. Uh me and her build a relationship what cause like I was having struggle I was having trouble with silent was three. So when we got paired up, she would pair me up with her and I think that kinda taught me the silent was better. Yeah. So my heart is trying the research methods and I'm in a class right now, sociology of like just theories in general. Bro, my I teacher. took I took that sociology a theory class, but we didn't have no exams in there. You had to write like crazy papers. Yeah. Who are your teacher for that? Bro, he's a he's oh a, you got a man. I had a lady. He's a um a graduate student from Peru. Doesn't speak English. Like, he speaks English, but like you really like you rarely can understand what he's saying. And he writes in italics, so his R looks like an N. And it's like you're trying to you're like bro, I would have. What are you trying? You got that class. You got he writes in italics. Literally, it's all that's sideways. Insane. You got that that's class on Tuesdays and Thursdays? I got it on Monday, Wednesday. Like, that's, the, that's the good thing about it. It's only Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. I would have dropped it. Mom, I needed it. Oh, he though. needed it. Like, because I, I graduated this in December. Yeah, I, so t- like, I, t- I, t- I took um, I took that sociology uh, class this past spring. Yeah. So I had to write like, a couple of papers for it. We, a couple of papers on like, the topics we was going over. That's like that. So it's me and Micah in that class. <laughs> I took a sport legal class. I'm talking like case studies, like going through like documents like figuring out stuff and then like i'm talking like i i took it i i opened the test i just looked around was like click 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 <laughs> click <laughs> i'm not i was like i don't even know half the words that are in these questions so like what they also, mean another, like all these legal i took was i took american history since like 1865 that was hard i took that in person last spring See, my mom she's not, a not a 2022 spring it was hard i'm like yo because my mom teaches AP U.S. history in mm-hmm. high school. So she's like a history, like, nut. Like, she's teaching AP Euro, AP U.S., AP government. Mm-hmm. So it's like, any time I've had a history class, I'd, like, call her. Hey, mom, like, if we got a question on this, I'd get an hour lecture on the phone because she just loves it. Yeah. And I'm like, I was like, okay, mom, like, I got to <laughs> go. You answer my question. You answered my question 37 minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, so my, my like history like now, my boss. now I ain't got to worry about no schoolwork. So well, I'm, I'm, in, like I'm in I'm in class, but all my classes are online. So Ben, I'm a I'm you graduate. A, I graduated already. So I've been a graduate patch. Yeah, I've been I've been having a graduate patch on my jersey the whole season. So that was what's impressive about Chad Lindbergh. Yeah, 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 graduated yeah. from Terry in three years. Lad, 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 and Zirkel. Yeah. They're all in my class, and but Chad came in with like thirty something hours from classes that carried over, but like still graduating from Terry and three, woo, yeah, high school business, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's a graduating from Georgia in general. Oh yeah, like that got to be one. Uh, okay, what well, oh, what was is the schooling like? Was it different? Uh, was Jane yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. Like, that was way different. So like, was Jane? They had a major called like multiple disciplinary studies. So like you could have, like kinda of have like three minors that kinda of make your major. That's like that. So like my classes wasn't that bad. And then also I only took class that first year. Like remember we t- we did a semester. Mm-hmm. Remember our first year we did that yeah. at all. And then remember when spring semester came, COVID hit, so yeah. we was like everything went online. So after that, it was just like it was easy online, you feel me? No, oh, yeah. And then I got to Georgia and I'm like, classes had just started back up. I had I had that foot surgery. And then they had the ACL surgery, so I was like struggling in class. I'm like, yo, 
oh, I ain't never had to do this much work or I ain't gonna lie. be a lot of research stuff here. The yeah. funny thing about my, I think I've said this on here before, but my when I had surgery, the, I had a religion class. The class was hard. Like teacher was monotoned and it was like over like three different religions. And I was like, mm-hmm. there's a dude. Yeah. I think I know you're talking Monotoned. I had, yeah. And like, I was like, I can't listen to this guy. Yeah. But my original class was in a, in a building that didn't have an elevator. And it was on the second floor, so I couldn't go. So they moved the class for me. <laughs> and they moved the class? They moved the class to a building with an elevator. And <laughs> three days later, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> After they moved the whole class, just because I couldn't go. <laughs> I think at, I, at the time, I was on a scooter. So remember, that's when the, the uh, facility and stuff was getting done. Remember, we oh. had a way out the ball. So we got to ride all the way across the field. It's hard to ride a scooter. Up, to, hop up the stairs. Hop up the stairs and ask one of the teammates to carry your scooter for you. Yeah, I'm glad I ain't never had. Now I ain't even going to say that. It's knock on wood right now. Hey. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, that, that knee scooter does not look fun. I mean, I had a good time on it, like just messing around on it. Yeah, but like, this is like getting from I was place on it for place, like, like 12 yeah. weeks. Yeah, he was on it. Was yeah. long. I was on it for like what? I think I was on mine for two weeks. But I go to class. 10, something like that. No. I, I was on it for like was, 10 or 12. Yeah, I then I had to do it a second time in January. Yeah, I was on mine for like two weeks. Having to learn how to do things with one leg is like awful. Like showering. Oh, I had a little setup when I showered. I had like a little, I had a walk in shower at the time. So I'd like hold on to the top rail. I'd like swing myself in, <laughs> and the first time I did it, I fell because the shower was slick. So I ended up buying this mat that had suction Sticky, cups yeah, to yeah. stop, yeah. and it like kept me from slipping. I had a stool in there that spin around. I, was, I remember so like at the time, I remember nobody didn't know I got hurt. So like the media was X, and I remember because we're like we did a day. Um, so I'm like I'm, I'm like damn. When I went, I'm like hold my foot. Because at first when I first hurt my foot, I finished practice on a broke foot. So I go back in, I'm like, I go to the trainers, I shower, go to the trainer. I'm like, yo, I need ice. Like, my foot a little hurt. I just need some ice. I'm about to be out. They're like, no, we got to get x-rays. I'm like, no, I don't need no x-ray. Yeah, x-ray bro. everything. Yeah, so we Every- x-ray the joint. they like, your foot broke. You're you going to get surgery first thing in the morning. So later that week, I got surgery that Wednesday. Later that week, I go to class. So I'm riding my scooter in class like that. I see a video of me on Instagram later that day. Like, somebody just recorded me because getting picked up by, like, uh, getting picked up. Mm-hmm. Then go back to the facility. You just see somebody see me riding down near a tape on my scooter. I'm like, dang, somebody got me. Oh, God. All right, so now we go to the opposite of the trench talk called our fist pump, like Tiger Woods, notorious for his fist pump. You ever watch golf? No. Uh, you know who Tiger is, though. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, he, every, he hits a big big putt or something. He hits a fist pump after it's like his trademark oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like something good that's happened this week or the past couple of weeks. Mm. It's a yeah, definitely. I'll definitely say uh, me starting on this. I got to a hot start. Yeah. Probably been on season. So um, this last month got to a hot start. Just so I, I'll say that. Yeah. Um, then the coaches putting together a real good play, game plan and and uh, just me following that game plan and. My, my old roommate, I think your biggest fan. He texted he texted me the other day. He was like, he was like, yo, I'm rewatching some of these games. Ty keep it going fed. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yes, he had it. <laughs> Shoot. No, yeah, definitely appreciate that. Um. Is that your roommate now that I try to ask you about for 2K? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he was like, Ty Key been going fed. I was like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think that definitely been starting our fun. I caught two off. I think Smile or somebody came on a blitz and tipped one. Mm-hmm. They tipped one on good coverage, and then I broke on one at South Carolina. So, mm-hmm. just being able to be at the right spot at the right time. Fuck. True. My, I guess, going out and shutting them down last week really – Got got our mojo back from a defensive line perspective, but I, I can say, just because, uh, shoot, I don't think we made our like our our run goal in the past couple of weeks. So, really, just going out and and really just shutting that down and like getting our getting our morale back. I can say that's probably my first. Problem. I would say mine's probably the same. Just like as our offense just like started clicking finally, and it felt like that me personally was just playing well in that game, kind of. I was on a redemption tour this past week after that Auburn game, but yeah, that's definitely it for me. Bobby, you got one for this week? Uh, I'll be on 11 Alive tomorrow night for a little sports bet. You popped up on my TikTok. Did it really? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, hold on, because you had a hat on. Yeah. But I was like, I like scrolled past. I was like, oh, whatever. I was like, hold on, is that Bobby? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
been doing some work for ugasports.com, so that's been fun. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll be on Eleven Alive. Did a little recruiting package on um, Scoby White. So okay, uh, one of the guys committed here. So I don't know if you guys have ever met him before or anything like that. But but yeah, so I think it's pretty cool. Pretty yeah, that's awesome. All right, now like our this is our, like our last segment that we do. It's our blind draft. You drink soda? Uh, I don't need to drink Sprite. You ever drank like any sodas? You ever been big on sodas? Uh-uh. Dang it! We might need a new one. Yeah, I ain't. we'll do we'll do flavors of Gatorade, or or should we do Powerade? What what's preferred? Gatorade. Yeah. We have more Powerade if it's other. Gatorade's better. We we we're, we're we're sponsored by Powerade. Gatorade is, but Gatorade has more flavors, and it's better. Can. And every flavor they have is just better. All right, I have nothing to say about that. Power. Yeah. Uh, we'll the real question is, where's your favorite place to get Sprite from? Sprite. It's gotta be. It, gotta be. It gotta be like a McDonald's or like a Popeye's. <laughs> that like McDonald's a, Sprite give you heartburn. Wait, what? Dude, that Sprite gotta be. To they gotta have that Sprite hooked up to like an outlet or something. That stuff <laughs> is, is like electricity, man. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fizzy. Like sends chills through your body whenever you drink it. Their, their sweet tea? Oh. You know what's crazy about down south? I will. I'm convinced that the best sweet tea is at Mexican restaurants. Hmm. I'm telling you, next time you go to a Mexican restaurant, get their sweet tea. So, it, like we're on our own. If, yeah, they they don't drink sweet tea. Oh yeah, yeah. Techie yeah. probably. Yeah. You, you ever sweet have you ever had sweet tea? Neck of the woods. They probably give you a a sugar packet. Probably. Have you ever had sweet tea? I'm not big on sweet tea. But like me, I know y'all be big on like Chipotle dinner. So y'all ever had Cadoba? I've heard of it. Yeah, I think I'm. I I take Cadoba over Chipotle. Well, like it's just, it's just like the same style, same like idea. Just yeah. I mean, we could do we could do Gatorade flavors, like I said. So if you want to stick yeah, with that? Yeah, do Gatorade flavors. All right, cool. Number one, we'll go with Cool Blue. Ooh. Two. I'm for that. Right. Cause I'm saving, I'm saving five I'm for one specific. Three. Me too. I'm saving five for one specific. Me too. Oh, I'm two. putting that at three. A oh, four. Two for me. All right. Orange. One. One. Definitely. Guys. That's why I put cool blue too. <laughs> I knew orange was coming out. I go orange too. Fruit punch. Five. Five. I I can't stand freaking fruit. I I, 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 I'm I that, can't I'm four. Five. I'm five. Four. five. Yeah, yeah you like hate, how we do it the same I, exact I thing. I hate fruit punch. I hate I'm it. That four. It is the most overrated flavor of any drink ever made. Mm, wow. Okay, let's let's calm down on that one. But Gatorade fruit punch. No. Name flavors of stuff and tell me fruit punch. Just like isn't at the Maybe. bottom of Gatorade. Like certain ga- like different brands flavors. Okay. Like it's by far the most overhyped one. Glacier Cherry, the white one. Oh. It's for say Glacier I'm Freeze. Three. I'm going to say one. I'm three. I'm going to that five. Is that the same one? It may be the same one. Glacier Freeze. No, Glacier Freeze is, is the light blue. Glacier Cherry is the oh. white. Glacier Cherry. I'm going to put that at five. Three. Yeah? Uh, three. Dang. You're about to hit us for like a cucumber. Tate, why you got to spoil it, man? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Last one, yeah. cucumber lime. I will drink cucumber lime before I drink fruit punch. Nah, really. Yeah. That is foul. I hate nah, that. I think foul. I had it too wow. much I'm growing taking, up. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. My my foul would be orange, the yellow, Gatorade, blue. I could drink red, and I would put like a grape or something at five. I'm, I'm gonna just give you my top five. I went orange. Riptide Rush. It's, my, it's, it's in, it's in the, the it's in purple. The, yeah, the Riptide Rush, mm-hmm. Glacier Freeze, and it's gotta be on the nipple top. <laughs> uh, orange, lemon lime, and then I'll take no nope, lemon lime is down there. Mm. I'll take uh, Cool Blue. That's, that's my five of Gatorade. That's fair. If I just... My five is orange. No, Riptide Rush, orange, uh, Cool Blue, uh, Glacier Cherry, and I'm blanking. Um, What's the, isn't there a, a rain one? Like a like purple a white, rain? White purple, yeah, something like that. That's the one I'm thinking of that I wanted number one. The reptile rush, it's like the the, the light like, the light purple, the clear purple one. Yeah, that's, that's reptile rush. Oh, okay. And then five, I'm blanking. I can't even think of the name of it. What color? It's, it's one of the blue ones. It's not. It's like a darker blue. Cool blue. Oh, that one's so good. Um, let me let me find it real quick. Isn't that cool blue? Cool blue cool. is the light blue, isn't that? Cause light blue is the gri- like the light light blue is glacier blue, freeze. Blue, blue Gla- cherry is it blue cherry? Blue cherry, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, that one's good. 
Yeah, I do remember those. They they used to come to Little Bottom. But my, every every Gatorade tastes better out of a nipple top. <laughs> my worst experience ever with Gatorade is I told my mom to give me the green one, which was like so the, cucumber, cucumber. the yellow one. And the only time I've ever had the cucumber lime one was when my mom accidentally. Yeah, I had one. the drop kicker for that, and and I tried it, and I was like. Uh, it was before like a baseball game or something like that, and I was like, I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this. So Clear. that's your time. I refuse to drink fruit punch. I would drink, I would drink a real one. I ain't even allowed to. It's got to be the last thing in there. It's got to be top five for me would be. I'm grabbing a water. Orange is bottom tier for me. Hate mm-hmm. orange. Who? Hate them it's out. Fair. Can't stand it. I like fruit punch. I'm not gonna lie. Fruit punch is solid. I just hate the taste, like the taste of it. Like then it makes your breath stink. Like. You know what? I feel that. Yeah. Like it just I've never uh, thought about that before. It just makes, now that you bring it up, like when yeah. I know I know what you mean. Dang, that's crazy. So yeah, Riptide Rush is good. That one's up there for sure. And that cool blue. Like I mean, it's it's pretty basic. They it's it's they're all hits on the uh anything blue is just it's unstoppable. So I ain't gonna lie, before they before they changed the recipe of the blue powerade, that was the only powerade I would drink. Really? The black label of the blue powerade Oh my God. I would take like full cases of them home and only, like, I've only drunk, since I've been in college, I've probably only drunk Powerade 95% of the time. Like, I just don't drink anything else. I drink an orange. Orange is terrible. I don't know how you do that. Orange is, el- orange is elite. Is yeah, the elite. I feel elite. Like you were on. Tai Chi, we, we were on, the, we were on with the blue cheese. Now we're off with the, with the orange. Can't do they it. missing out on blue cheese. They are. See, I'm telling you, wings, I won't touch blue cheese. Buffalo shrimp, blue cheese. Give it to me. Just my mom was a blue cheese person. I'm just, so is my, so my dad, you mom, and dad. You young. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't understand. Like, you don't know no better. Like, that's what it is. Like, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't know no better. How old are you, though? 22. I'm old. You're older than me. By how many? How, not long. Your birthday's in April, isn't it? My birthday's in July. Is, is, is. Oh, April 26th. I'm thinking Trust. Trust is in April. So, yeah, he, yeah me and Trust are the same birthday. birthday. And I'm older than him. Tight. Appreciate you coming, man. Appreciate yep. you, bro, for having me, dog. Uh, 